Hello Pisces, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we have romantic feelings, and then we also have trust. I mean, this, this is looking good. You could be dealing with a cancer, possibly. doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Romantic feelings, it reminds me of the King and the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a cancer, as I mentioned, possibly even a Scorpio. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. But we are going to focus on you first, Pisces, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. So we do have the two of wands. We also have the world, and then we also have the star. It kind of looks like you're getting exactly what it is that you want um, out of a situation here. But we're going to look a little bit more into that, but let's focus on your human. How does this person currently view this relation? Okay, wait a minute. We got the death card. We also have the lovers, and then we also have the hangman. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Six of Cups. And then we also have the Strength card. Before I look at this person, I just want to clarify your overall energy really quickly here. Tell me more about the world. I feel like this, this, this world card has a lot to do with letting go of something. Tell me more about the world. Okay, so the Six of Wands came out. All right. We also have the Eight of Swords. Very nice with the Devil. You're basically freeing yourself from something. Okay? And it could very well be like... Um, a toxic and unhealthy relationship that you're freeing yourself from but nonetheless i feel like you're definitely freeing yourself from something that's just not even serving your highest good to be completely honest and you're successfully closing the cycle out here between you and whoever this person is that you're once upon a time um connecting with and or involved uh with now let's look at this energy that's kind of coming forward for you i feel like you're unaware of um this overall energy right now and it could have a lot to do with the simple fact that well you're getting exactly what it is that you want right now which is very clear-cut straightforward you're freeing yourself from something that's not necessarily healthy for you um now with all of that being said love may love may not be like a main focus slash priority for you right now but it is for this one over here you got somebody here who kind of has their eyes dead set on you but i find it to be very interesting I do. I find it to be very interesting because I feel like even though this person has their eyes dead set on you, I, I don't see them doing shit. Like, I just, I kind of just see them standing there, to be completely honest. It's like they're not really making a move in your direction. They may have made a move in your direction in the past, but currently at the moment i don't see this person doing anything whoever this person is they're definitely infatuated by you this is also somebody who feels absolutely drawn to you but there's too much holding back coming from this person i feel like they're holding back they're definitely holding back here whoever this person is like i said they feel absolutely drawn to you and your energy but it's like I want to really go over there towards Pisces. I really do want to talk to them, but I'm not going to do it. So I am more about the hangman. It's too much holding back, man, coming from this person. I don't know if this person fears, you know, that you're going to reject them possibly, but let's look a little bit more into this. Um, tell me more about the Ten of Wands. You know what? This person needs to build a bridge and get over it. Because I feel like they're kind of filling their head up with, with, with how this could potentially go south, right? If they were to approach you and have a conversation with you. You know what I mean? Um, again, it's like, I feel like they want to approach you. I feel like they want to have a conversation with you. I feel like they want to build a relationship with you. I feel like, again, it's like... This is somebody who feels absolutely drawn to you to the point where they can't even fucking help themselves, right? But there's just so much holding back coming from this person. And I feel like they have many reasons, right, as to why they're holding back from you. It could have a lot to do with them essentially feeling like you might shut them down. You may not want nothing to do with them. You may not feel the same way they feel about you. But they're just going to have to really build a bridge and get over it at this point because... I can tell that at this point in time, they're really fighting against what they really want to do here, which is 
very simple. You know, they just want to build a relationship with you. I mean, this is somebody who really does like you. This is somebody who's really infatuated by you. And I don't know, they're just not doing anything. They're just not doing anything. I feel like they have their reasons as to why. Um, Cause listen, who's to say, right? That you don't really see them like that, right? I feel like it, it has a lot to do with like fear of rejection, to be honest. How does um, Pisces? It's so weird because I feel, I feel like you have someone external to you that's very interested in you. And granted, they're holding back. They're definitely holding back, which makes sense why they're not showing up on your end. Um, hmm. But with the Page of Pentacles to the Hermit to the Tower coming out here for you, remember that you did get the Devil, and the Devil is basically linked. Uh, to the tower. I feel like you learned a lot from this entire experience here that you went through with whoever it is that you're essentially involved um, with. But nonetheless, I'm kind of curious to see who this human is. Right now, and I was kind of getting that from you, Pisces. Right now, it just, it looks like love is not your main focus slash priority right now, okay? I don't even feel like you're putting yourself out there like that, especially with the hermit. You know, this is you just kind of keeping to yourself, to be completely honest. And you might feel like you need to kind of like, you know, keep to yourself because of, you know, whatever it is that you just recently experienced here with someone. But let's look at this human. How does this person currently feel? We have the two of swords, we got the ten of swords, and then we got the devil. The bottom of the deck, we have the emperor, we got the two of cups, and then we also have the three of swords, and then we also have the chariot. Mm. When it comes down to how this person's currently feeling, I kind of feel like this person's going to eventually reach this point of essentially realizing what they're doing here. Like they could very well be missing out on a really good opportunity with you because they rather just sit there and be a chicken and not fucking approach you. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of what it all kind of boils down to. Like it, their biggest thing, their biggest thing when it comes down to you is they just don't want you to fucking reject them. I get it. I get it. But there's honestly only one way to find out if you are going to reject them. There's only one way to find out. There's no other way around this, people. There's no other way around this. This is somebody who, yeah, this is somebody who cannot take rejection. They can't. They just can't, you know. They don't like the feeling. I feel like they have been rejected in the past. So the last thing they want to do is put themselves in that predicament to possibly get rejected by you. They just don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to reject them. And it's interesting because we do have the Three of Swords and then we also have the Two of Swords, which creates a Five of Swords at play, which basically speaks of pride and it speaks of ego, you know, things of that nature. But I don't know, dude. I feel like there's only one way to find out if you're going to reject them or not. And that does kind of require them to kind of bust a move in your direction, okay? You know what I mean? Their whole thing is, is that they don't want to miss out on an opportunity with you. They don't. But what if it? What if you don't feel the same way, right, about them? And what if you don't see them like that? And what if you know? What if you freaking reject them? You know what I mean? What if? What if Pisces? What if? What actions? Okay. So we got the Four of Swords. All right. Wait a minute. They're busting a move in your direction. Finally, they're building a bridge and they're getting over the fear that they have. I think that their biggest thing is rejection. Like, they have, like, a massive um, fear of rejection, to be completely honest. A massive fear of rejection. But anyways, let's look at let's look at your person real quick. What actions will this person take towards Pisces or moving forward? Okay, so this is them make, basically making their presence known, okay, um, in your life. Again, you know what's interesting? Is that I feel like you... I don't feel like you know them, know them, but I feel like you know of them. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Like, I feel like you guys have had some type of exchange with one another at some point. Because I don't feel like they come off to me, especially if I'm going based off of your overall energy and the cards that you're getting as like a complete stranger. But I don't feel like you know them, know them. I just feel like you know of them. Just like I feel like they know of you. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. But this is them basically making their presence known in your life and all, right off the bat 
you're going to be able to sense and feel exactly what it is that this person is trying to essentially pursue with you. I mean, you are Pisces. You guys are very, very intuitive. You guys are like the high priestess, right? Um, so you guys are very, very intuitive. You're going to know right off the bat, you know, what this person is trying to do here, which is to establish a long-term uh, relationship with you. They don't come off to me as like the type that's just here to have a good old time with you, nothing more, nothing less. They don't really give me that impression at all, to be completely honest. So you're gonna know right off the bat, you know, what this person's trying to do here with you. Now, the fact that you have the Nine of Swords um, and the Four of Swords, that creates a Five of Swords at play. There's a little bit of inner conflict that you're experiencing in regards to this person. Um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with the simple fact that you already know. You already know what this person wants. It's not a secret. Like, I feel like you know exactly what it is that this person wants here with you, which is basically um, something long term, something meaningful. Um, but this inner conflict that's going on within you in regards to this person is something that I really do want to look into. Um, so let's look into that. Tell me more about the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords. We have the, uh, uh, we got the Five of Pentacles, we got the Eight of Wands, and then we also have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we have the Death card. Mm. I feel like you're telling yourself that you can't. You can't do it. You can't go there. And it could have a lot to do with this experience that you just went through with whoever it is that you were essentially dealing with. Pisces, I feel like you're telling yourself you can't. I feel like you're telling yourself, that, yeah, I feel like you're just telling yourself you, you can't, which is interesting to me. And that's why I say that there's like an inner conflict going on within you because you're telling yourself, yeah, that's, that's not a good idea. Like I should really take this time out to really, you know, get my stuff together, focus on me and my money, things of that nature. But then there's this part of you that's like, man, like it would be nice, you know, it would be nice, you know, to like go off and build, you know, towards something meaningful here with this person. But, you know, no, I should really do me for a little while, you know, you know. Um, let's look a little bit more into this person. Let's do that. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Got the Ace of Swords, all right. That's just that double confirmation that they're making their move in your direction. I feel like they've been waiting for you to kind of like reach out to them. See, this is why I'm saying like, I feel like you know of them and I feel like they know of you. I just don't feel like you guys know each other on a personal level. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even feel like this person knows what, what type of fucking car you drive. You know, that's what I, like, I don't feel like this person knows you on a personal level. I really, really don't. But I feel like, I don't I don't know. Like, I, it, how do I say this? It's like, I feel like this person has your number. I'll tell you that. Like, I feel like they have your number or, like, they're following you on social media. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, like, I feel like they've been waiting to hear from you. They've been waiting for you to, like, reach out to them. But... It, I, I guess you haven't. I guess you haven't. Um, so they're just making their move in your direction. All right. Let's let's keep getting. Let's keep looking into this human. You guys are like two peas in a pot, man. You guys are very very similar within your ways because even though this person wants to really build a relationship with you and get to know you they're not completely satisfied with where they're at currently um in life and i feel like that has a lot to do with the simple fact that they would love to make more money they would love to have a better job things of that nature so you guys are very similar within your ways very similar within your ways it's like yeah it would be nice to have a relationship but i should really take this time out to really focus on me right now and get my life together um where is this going, you guys? Where is this going? I'm like, okay, where is this going? I do see this, this person extending themselves to you. I feel like they've been waiting for you. Um, and it kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe you left them on red or something. Um, I, I don't know. What's what's the outcome here between Pisces and this person? Come on. This person might live at a distance from you. Well, dude... Yeah, dude, I feel like this relationship 
it has a great deal of potential and it's definitely going places but i love i absolutely love the way that you guys are going about it though i absolutely love it with the eight of wands to the nine of pentacles like I said, it's like you guys are very similar in your ways. You guys are not 100% satisfied with where you're at currently in life. You know, maybe Pisces, you really want to focus on, you know, your overall independence and, and making more money, you know, and I feel like they want to do the exact same thing. There's like an overall energy of the two of you really wanting to take this time out to really get yourself together and I kind of feel like that's something that you guys are definitely going to have in common with and this is why I say that I really love this relationship because you guys have that mutual understanding that even though yeah one day you would love to have something serious here um right now is just not the time for all of that at least according to the both of you you guys don't feel like you know it's it's the right time for all of that right but I feel like in time eventually when you guys feel like you're actually ready to come together and actually build towards something serious with one another it will happen but it'll happen you know naturally you know it's like you, you're not forcing yourself to sign up for something that you don't really feel like you're ready for because of you really wanting to focus on you for a little while and get your life together and the same applies for this person so it just makes sense right for the two of you to come together and collide uh with one another because you guys are basically on the same frequency basically is what it is you know, I, dude, I'll be honest, like, I feel like this shit is going places, man, between you and this person. Oh, yeah. And with justice and the hair font coming out here, that speaks of marriage right there. When you see these two together, that speaks of marriage right there. So it could lead to marriage for sure. I love, love, love the way that you guys are going about it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see what you should do moving forward. But I feel like it's going to take time. But that's what I love about this relationship is that they're not rushing you. You're not rushing them. You know what I mean? Okay, let's keep going. Um, what was I going to do, Pisces? Oh, what should Pisces do moving forward? All right, so we do have the strength card. We also have the moon. We also have the two of cups. And then we also have the ten of cups. The, this is like a, a mutual feeling that we're basically seeing here. Moving forward, you know, there's going to come a point in time where eventually you're going to feel ready to, like, take things a step further with this person. It doesn't look like right now is, is the time for all of that. And I kind of feel like that feeling in itself is, is very, very mutual. I just feel like you and this person are just going to come together in such an amazing way. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's a lot of healing also, too, that needs to kind of take place on your end and possibly even on theirs as well. It just, it just kind of looks like it's one of those situations where it's like perfect person, but wrong time. You know what I mean? And I feel like that in itself is like a mutual feeling here. So you don't have to worry about like this person trying to like, I don't know, like force a relationship upon you. It's just going to happen when the time is right, basically, because it will happen. I mean, you got too many cards that are indicating that it will happen. It definitely will happen. For sure. Look at that. You guys are showing up as a true pair to one another. We have the king and the queen of cups out here. You're coming across as a queen of cups. They're coming across as a king of cups. With the five of swords to the hermit to the knight of wands. I find this to be very interesting, which is something that I do want to look into really quickly before we leave. Tell me more about the hermit. This, you guys are showing up as a true pair again. I can't even make this shit up. That's how compatible you guys are. We have the Hierophant, and then we also have the High Priestess. Mm. This, this person needs to kind of work on being a little bit more reliable and dependable. That's something that they really need to work on. This person might have like the tendency of being a little bit hot and cold to be completely honest but I feel like that does have a lot to do with the simple fact that you are kind of dealing with somebody who has a little bit of ego and a little bit of pride okay and that's something that this person really needs to essentially work on and I feel like that's something that they're definitely going to improve upon within their involvement with you so they're going to get better at communicating they're going to get better at being more consistent because I feel like that's something that they really do struggle with is consistency that's something that this person really does struggle with, but that's something that's definitely going to improve within their involvement with you, okay? But other than that, 
It looks freaking good. It does. It looks really, really good here between you and this person. So, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Hopefully, the reading helped. Hopefully, it resonated. Um, also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.